Hey y'all, Mo here with TechUpLife.com. Thanks for tuning in. I am really excited because today we're going to be taking a look at the AWOL Vision LTV 3500. This is a phenomenal 4K ultra short throw laser projector, also known as a laser TV. It features a triple laser trichroma light source that's incredibly bright as well as color accurate, and it delivers a sharp, crisp, image. This makes it great for home theater enthusiasts and the high 3500 lumens of brightness makes it ideal for use in a dedicated home theater where you can completely black out the room or in a living room setting, especially when you paired it with the right ALR or CLR screen. There are a lot of advanced features like eARC support for advanced audio return channel handling, as well as processing of Dolby Atmos and DTS Virtual X audio codecs. There's 4K 60 Hz video output with HDR, including support for HDR10, HDR10+, and HLG. Overall, this thing is just a very impressive unit that is sure to please cinephiles and even gamers with a low 30 milliseconds of input lag. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and see how it performs. So in addition to the projector itself, you are going to find a number of different accessories in the box. So there is a dual function infrared and Bluetooth remote. And I really liked the remote. It had a lot of different buttons on there for turning the projector on and off pulling up the settings menu, changing the brightness on the fly, and of course setting the volume. So everything you need to do is right there on the remote. You're also going to find a power cable. It's a pretty standard power cable and there's also an RCA analog AV input and adapter which I thought was actually pretty cool. I mean when you blow up at standard definition sources like DVDs or old game consoles like the N64 and Wii it's really going to show their age on a 100 inch screen, but it was a nice touch. You're even going to find batteries for the remote. And my review unit did ship with a Fire TV 4K Stick Max for streaming purposes. And there is a convenient compartment on the back of the projector where you can store streaming sticks like the 4K Max. And you are also going to find a user manual as well as a guide to show you how to install the 4K Stick Max or other streaming devices. Like most 4K tricolor USTs, the LTV3500 is pretty large at 27 pounds or 12.3 kilograms and measuring 23.6 by 13.9 by 5.7 inches or 599 by 353 by 145 millimeters, so it's going to take up a lot of room on your TV console. The LTV3500 features some really impressive specs. At its core, you'll find a Texas Instruments 0.47 inch DMD chip that supports 4K video output at 60 Hz with HDR, including specifically HDR10, HDR10+, and HLG support. There is a triple laser light source that gives you over 25,000 lamp life hours, and there's a very generous 3,500 lumens of brightness, meaning this thing works really well, even with a decent amount of ambient light. And there are incredibly accurate colors, thanks to 107% BT 2020 color space coverage, along with a 1 million to 1 dynamic contrast ratio. There's low input lag of just 30 milliseconds in game mode and there's really good connectivity so you can hook up up to three HDMI devices and there's even eARC support so you can pipe uncompressed audio out from the projector to connected receivers and soundbars as long as they have eARC support. There's even an RCA analog AV input. The AWOL LTV3500 runs Android 9.0 and has three gigs of RAM alongside 128 gigs of storage space. It does feature a 36 watt soundbar built in, and there is audio processing for codecs like Dolby Atmos and DTS Virtual X. 
you will find built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And overall, this thing is just a really great projector, and it's capable of projecting images anywhere from 80 inches to 150 inches without sacrificing image quality or brightness. On top of the projector, you will find a power button, a PIR sensor, a blocked sensor, and of course, the projector lens itself. In front, you'll find a speaker grill that conceals the 36 watt soundbar, an IR sensor, an ambient light sensor, and a status indicator. On the right side of the unit, you'll find ample ventilation to keep this thing cool under load, as well as a USB service port. Around the left side of the unit, you will find plenty of ventilation. On the bottom of the projector, you will find four adjustable feet so that you can get the on-screen image as close to perfectly rectangular as possible without having to rely on electronic focus and keystone. And you'll also find four mounting holes if you want to ceiling mount the projector. Although if you go that route, I would recommend getting a very strong mount because at 30 pounds, the LTV 3500 is far from light. Around back, you're going to find plenty of inputs and outputs. There is an optical audio output. There's a micro USB debug port, a USB port for media playback, an Ethernet LAN jack, an analog RCA AV input, a power port, and a trio of HDMI ports, including one with eARC support. One of the neat features of the LTV 3500 is a dedicated streaming stick compartment. So if you pop this hatch open, you will find one of the three HDMI ports. So you can insert streaming sticks like the Fire TV Stick 4K Max or Roku Stick Plus. And there's even a USB port so that you can deliver power straight from USB to various streaming sticks. And everything is just self-contained right there in that little streaming stick compartment. And it's very convenient and gives a streamlined look to the back of the unit. So actually installing a streaming device in that streaming stick compartment is really easy. Basically, just take a compatible device. In this case, I'm using the Amazon Fire TV 4K Stick Max. And go ahead and connect the USB power cable. What's nice about this is there is that USB port within the streaming stick compartment itself. So you don't need to run a power cord to a plug strip or anything like that. And then once you have your power cable hooked up, go ahead and insert the streaming stick into the HDMI port within that compartment. And then once you've got it properly inserted, just go ahead and pop the cover of that compartment back on and you're ready to start streaming. And what's nice about this is it just gives a very polished look to the back of the projector. One of the main benefits of the LTV 3500 is its triple laser light source and 3500 lumens of brightness. That makes this a great option for living room setups where you're going to have some ambient light pouring in. As you can see here, I am watching in the middle of the day and there's a lot of ambient light pouring into my living room. And yet you can still make out all the details in this scene from the original blade. Of course, I would recommend using a proper ALR or CLR screen that's made for ultra short throw projectors. Watching the same scene again with the lights completely off and the windows blacked out, you can tell that the image is simply stunning. There's absolutely phenomenal color accuracy, which is something that a lot of bright room projectors sacrifice. So. The LTV 3500 really gives you the best of both worlds. One area where a lot of projectors fall short is black levels, but the LTV 3500 features really good black levels. Granted, they're not going to be OLED caliber, but for a projector, these are best in class. 
Image quality out of the box, even without making any tweaks in the settings menu, is absolutely gorgeous. I was really impressed with the color accuracy as well as the sharpness. 4K HDR content looks marvelous. Because of its high brightness, the AWOL LTV 3500 prevents details from getting washed out. Oftentimes, HDR videos are a little bit dimmer compared to SDR content, and the added brightness along with the high contrast and color accuracy ensures that no details are washed out. Animated content plays flawlessly on the AWOL Vision LTV 3500. The triple laser light source is truly able to do justice to bright, vivid color palettes. This is an area where the contrast and color accuracy combined with the high 3500 lumens of brightness really makes the colors pop on screen. A built-in game mode drops input lag down to a perfectly playable 30 milliseconds. So the AWOL Vision LTV 3500 is a very versatile projector that works equally well for movies, TV shows, and also gaming. Single player games look great and are very immersive blown up on the big screen. And you can even play a number of offline and online multiplayer games. The 30 milliseconds of input lag is very respectable and should work well for all but the most serious competitive gamers. In my testing, game mode proved very responsive and I had a blast playing different video games on a 120 inch screen. I noticed no perceptible lag between the button presses and on-screen actions, even when playing twitchy games like fighters and first-person shooters. With the ability to generate a bright, vivid, color-accurate image, the AWOL Vision LTV 3500 is nearly a perfect projector. It's tough to really find a lot to complain about with the LTV 3500. However, it is pretty expensive. It has a standard retail value of $6,000. However, you can find it on sale via Indiegogo for $4,500. Of course, that is about in line with most other 4K laser TVs. Notably, it is pretty large and heavy, although, again, that's basically common with most triple laser 4K ultra short throw projectors. Unfortunately, there is no 3D capability at the time of making this video, although that has been promised in a future update. And likewise, there's no Dolby Vision HDR support, but again, that has been promised in a future firmware update. Possibly the biggest downside to the LTV 3500 is its software experience. Although the projector does run Android 9.0, it comes with only a handful of apps installed, and those are mostly for doing things like accessing files on connected USB devices. There are no streaming apps installed by default, and while you can sideload them yourself, your best bet is just to use an external streaming device. This isn't really a huge issue because even most projectors that do have Android built in and have apps pre-installed, you really don't get a great streaming experience and you're much better off just connecting a Fire TV stick, a Roku, an Android TV device, or even a game console. Still, it is worth noting that the Android version on board is a lot more polished purely for navigating on-screen menus and changing different settings for audio and visual 
than it is for streaming media or casting. So this is the kind of projector where you really do need an external streaming device. While picture quality is gorgeous, the AWOL Vision LTV 3500 also delivers fantastic audio quality thanks to its built-in 36 watt soundbar. I'd still recommend a dedicated home theater receiver or soundbar for the best audio quality, but the built-in soundbar gives you great low end without overpowering the mids and highs. So it's a nice balanced sound stage and can easily fill a small to medium sized room. So in the end, the AWOL Vision LTV 3500 is an exceptional projector. It features outstanding color accuracy, black levels, contrast, and overall image quality. 30 milliseconds of input lag makes it versatile enough for movies as well as gaming. And there's high brightness, which means that the LTV 3500 works equally well in a dedicated dark home theater as well as in a living room situation where you're battling a lot of ambient lighting. There's excellent connectivity, including three HDMI ports and eARC support. And I really like the convenient streaming stick compartment on the back of the unit. There's just a lot of thoughtful design that goes into the AWOL Vision. There are a few downsides, including its high price tag, a large footprint, and its heavy 30 pounds, which makes it kind of tough to mount on the ceiling. I also would have liked 3D support as well as Dolby Vision HDR, although according to the Indiegogo page, those are promised in future firmware updates. Ultimately, if you are looking for a true TV replacement and best-in-class image quality, the AWOL Vision LTV 3500 is absolutely one of the best 4k laser tvs on the market all right y'all thanks for watching if you like this video make sure to give it a like head over to the comment section and let me know what you thought of the awol vision as well as what projectors or other devices you want me to take a look at next if you haven't already done so make sure to subscribe to the channel for our notifications when we post new videos and be sure to head over to techuplife.com where you can read some of my editorial content like reviews of the AWOL Vision LTV 3500. Stay tuned for our next video, and in the meantime, don't forget to give your life a tech up.